Hey guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to take you on a journey of me reorganizing my bookshelves a bit. This is the closest thing you're going to ever get to a bookshelf tour because bookshelf tours are long and tedious and I refuse. If you're seeing me in some comfier clothes today because I'm lounging and getting things done around the house, I'm actually doing a social media detox on the day that I'm filming this and I will have a vlog for that as well that will be linked on my other channel so I'll leave a link for that on the screen if you want to check out like my full day. But I've been thinking for weeks now that I wanted to reorganize where things are on my shelf a bit because I want things that I love to be in the background of my videos and some things are like this has always been my favorite shelf like this shelf but I need to just do some reconfiguring and I want some more things more front and center. This is also part of my favorite shelf, but you can't really see it. So I'm going to rearrange some stuff a bit. I tend to arrange things by genre and then how much I love it as far as like in the background and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. And you'll get to see my process now and I'll show you the finished result after. I keep staring at my shelves right now because it's stressing me out. Like, I think I need to move this shelf over here because it makes more sense. Like, I already have a lot of YA on this shelf, so I figure, like, put my YA favorites on this shelf and have more of my adult on this shelf, but, like, I've always had this shelf here. <laughs> like, a lot of these books have always lived here, so it's stressful. I kind of was doing like favorites YA, favorites adult where you can like really see it. But now I'm running into like there being gaps because I kind of I split this shelf up. I don't know where this like I think because I had some stuff that was outward facing before in a couple of shelves. But I'm like, where did this space come from? I just discovered it. <laughs> the books that I put on the floor from this shelf. Cause I was like, what the heck? Why is there so much room? That's why there's so much room, Samantha. So it's still not gonna make sense because I have overwhelmingly more YA books. I'm just gonna do some finagling. I'm gonna finagle. So now it's gonna be less like sorted by genre the way that I sort of had it before because I have way more fantasy and way more YA fantasy than I have anything else. But I still am doing it for the framing, so I still want my favorites of things to be front and center. Not that some of my other favorites aren't, you know, gonna be in the, some of them aren't gonna be in the picture because I have a lot of favorites, but I'm trying to do that so that, like, my most recent book tastes you guys can see plainly in the background of my videos. So like this end and this end of the top shelf, you can't see as much. It is kind of bothering me though that like, this is my like adult sci-fi. This is my like adult fantasy. This is my adult fantasy. But like, now this is gonna be combined with like some random YA and my brain's like, no! But I don't have any other way to do it right now. Once I get a lot of my books read, like I have a ton of giant fantasy books adult fantasy books over here and some like adult science fiction. So then it'll fill in more evenly, but a lot of it's over here right now. It's the problem. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it. I also wanna move this because these are not necessarily favorites. So I wanna kinda finagle that a bit. And maybe I could put like Cinder and stuff up there because since they're not favorites, it won't bother me. But right now this is all like a retelling shelf which makes a little more sense to me. But unfortunately, things are just gonna have to change. Maybe I should move this down here? I'm looking at like, 
Yeah, because you can really see that shelf in my videos. You can really see the shelf. So maybe the adult fans should go down here and this stuff should move up there. Maybe that's what I'll do for now. I'm really mixing up every shelf and it's stressful for me. <laughs> series are a recurrent issue, finding a spot for Fallen Kingdoms, which at one point held a high place in my heart, but since the end of the series it's fallen, but I still have the whole series and I still want to like keep it and keep it together. So that's a problem because it's, you know, a six book series. So trying to find a spot where it fits means I have to move things around. It's stressful. These outturned books just create more room for when I get things read, so that helps. There's still a lot of things that my brain's like, oh, I don't like it, when I look at my complete shelf because, like, I feel like this whole section should just be like adult fantasy, and it's not, you know? And then, like, this is like the adult sci fi, but then we run into like YA, and like, these are my YA favorites. Like, it's just, it's jumbled in a way that my brain's like, oh. But I also just think that's because I'll get used to it. So yeah, it's just like I've had kind of a system that's been very similar for the books for a long time. So this is new. Also the shelf down here, which I don't even think you guys can see, is sort of like my rejects shelf. Like I haven't quite gotten the heart to unhaul them, but they're books, like, like they're all my like two and one star and like low three star books. So, oh, Gara should go back up here with the space stuff. So yeah, that creates a little more room for things that I'm reading currently that I know we're gonna get slotted in in various places. I like it. I'm gonna be really happy when this shelf is like all adult fantasy. <laughs> That's gonna make me happy. But right now there's just kind of like a smattering of things. I'm looking at things and I'm like, there's some things that could get unhauled on my like red books, which I probably will do towards the end of the year so that I can make room for more favored books that I'm currently reading kind of thing. But I can kind of see, I can see an unhaul coming. There's some small, there's a small pile at the bottom that you guys can't see. There are things that I'm like thinking about hauling, like I'm not even considering it on my shelf anymore. So this is my rearranged look. I actually just started arranging my TBR shelf to show you, but I just reminded myself that I want to have like my TBR shelf and then take off some of the books that I know for a fact that I'm not going to read this year like and I've given myself permission to not read this year. There's a couple books that are continuations of series that don't have next books yet so I'm not in like a hurry to read those. Like I'm not really including those in my TBR for this year. There's a few books like that that I'm kind of considering like anytime you want to read instead of like get this done by the end of this year reads. So I'm going to eliminate those from the TBR shelf. Probably put them in one of these shelves because that, that should be equivalent of how many books, like it's only like maybe five books or less that I'm not including on this year's TBR. And then going from there and showing you my TBR shelf. the TBR shelf now. So these books up here are books that I'm not including. Like it's on my TBR as in in my spreadsheet for my TBR that I do to keep track of like all of my reading and stuff. But I'm not really including it in like you need to get these read before the end of the year kind of thing. Um, you know, like A Little Life and The Luminaries, like I want to be in the mood to read those. I don't want to just like subject myself because I picked a random number and now I'm doing it. Like. I'm just not going to do that. Wise Man's Fear I don't want to read until we have at least an announcement of the third book. 
This is a sequel, European Travel for Monstrous Gentlewoman. I want to read the first book. I don't own it yet, so it's like, I don't want to buy it to read. You know, um, The Grace of Kings, I DNF'd this, uh, but more like put aside. So now I want to... I want to read it at some point, but I'm not necessarily telling myself I need to read it this year. Like, I'm kind of undecided what I want to do about that. And then We the Drowned is kind of the same as these two in that, like, I'm not sure I'm going to read it. It's like a forever TBR type thing. And then these two books are actually DNFs. Well, one's a DNF that I'm not sure I'm going to pick it back up again, and then the other one is another book by that same author. They're contemporaries. So I'm putting those separately. Like, I'm kind of putting my DNFs but might pick up again separately from my TBR because I don't want that to be included. Because lately I've been going on Twitter and having you guys like pick a number between whatever and then whichever number gets to usually three, the quickest those three numbers get put in my Patreon poll. I find the books that match it on my shelf. They go in my Patreon poll for that month for what book I'm going to read and review that month for Patreon. So that's a fun way of doing it that's less biased by me being like, I want to read these books anyway, and I put them in there like this is, it's been fun because it's like a lotto. If you're interested in voting in those polls or anything like that with Patreon, I will link my Patreon on the screen. It's fun. But doesn't this look like so much more manageable? I love this. So yeah, like basically two shelves with like a little smattering down here. Like beginning of the year, I think it was all the way down here. I think I had some sh books on this shelf. So this is shrinking. I like the visual representation. As you can see, I like having my books in my TBR shelf uh, by color, rainbow shelves. And then just this month, I don't usually do this, but just this month, I pull out the books that I'm reading for a readathon. That's on like a readathon TBR. I only do that when I'm doing readathons, otherwise I just go up to my shelf and pick what I want. And you also will have seen that I was taking off the post-it notes that I had put on there because last year and possibly also the year before, I was putting post-it notes on my books the month that I got them in and trying to read them within six months. I'm taking those off right now. I'm going to do that again, I think, in 2020, maybe, if I feel like I need to. But this now, I, I know I want to read all of these, like, this year if I can. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get all these read by the end of this year, but I'm going to try to. So there's no point in being like, read within six, like, I'm trying to read all of them these you know what I mean so I'm just gonna get rid of that for now and also I just like being able to see everything without like the post-its so yeah the, the goal really is for me to get down to a TBR that's like one shelf like a one shelf TBR and possibly even using like this bookshelf for my TBR and putting all this stuff like on this at some point at the end of the year so you might have a future organization video on your hands but yeah, I, I don't want to have this like giant TBR shelf, you know? And even though I only use like these three shelves for my TBR and the rest is like more storage stuff, I just, I want less with the TBR so that I'm always excited about everything on there. So yeah, here is my beautiful TBR shelf. Shall I do a quick rundown of the shelves? This is the closest thing you're getting to a bookshelf tour, guys. It's the closest thing. are my finished shelves for now before I read more stuff and things get moved but comment below let me know if you enjoyed this let me know your thoughts if there's a certain kind of bookshelf video that you'd like to see that's not a bookshelf tour I don't really know what else I could do besides something like this but if you have like certain suggestions for that and it's not super super time consuming let me know but thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon bye mm -hmm.